Hi dear students, myself is Ms. Lalita G. Kudli. In this video, let us start with the chapter number 5 that is Morphology of Flowering Plants. This chapter is of 5 hours and weightage for this chapter is of 4 mark. What is morphology? The term morphology it is derived from Greek. Morpho means shape or form and logos means the study of something. In biology we can define the morphology as the scientific study of forms and structure of animals and plants. In simple words, the study of external characters is known as morphology. When you study the external characters of animals, then it is known as morphology of animals. When you study the external characters of plants, then it is known as morphology of plants. Then, what are flowering plants? Dear students, the kingdom we you, you might have studied in your previous class that kingdom plantae includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Of which algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes and gymnosperms they do not produce flowers whereas the group of plants the angiosperms they produce flowers which are the reproductive structures. Hence the angiosperms are known as flowering plants okay so in this chapter we are going to learn in detail about the morphology of angiosperms that is morphology of flowering plants okay so now let us start with the chapter when you uproot a plant from the soil you can differentiate the plant body into the root system and shoot system. The roots develops from radical of the embryo whereas shoot develops from plumule of the embryonal axis. Then what is this radical and plumule? You look at this diagram. This is a Bengal gram. After germination it, it shows the two cotyledons and this axis is known as embryonal axis. The embryonal axis consists of the radical and plumule. So the radical will develop into root system whereas the plumule it will develop into shoot system. Here it is very clear this after germination of the seed this part is a radical and it develop radical it will develop into root system and this is a plumule and it develops into shoot system. Then the root system consists of the main root and lateral branches. Remember the root system usually it is underground part of the plant. And as I said the root consists of uh, the main root called primary root and uh, the branches lateral branches which uh, includes the secondary roots and uh, tertiary roots. The, the, the primary roots along with its branches it constitutes uh, the root system and remember the root system or roots are always positively geotropic and negatively phototrophic. What do you mean by positively geotropic and negatively phototrophic? Remember the roots always grows deep into the soil that is towards the source of gravity whereas and, and the roots they develops from they, they grows away from the source of light. Hence, 
positively geotrophic means roots grows deep into the soil that is towards the gravity and negatively phototrophic means it grows away from the source of uh, light then as i said the shoot system it develops from the plumule and shoot system consists of uh, stem leaves flowers fruits and uh, buds the main axis of the stem that is ascending axis of the plant is known as a stem the stem can be differentiated into nodes and internodes it also bears the branches leaves flowers and fruits now what is node node is a region or point on the stem from where a leaf or a branch arises then what is internode the distance between two successive nodes is known as internode and the stem it bears two types of buds at the apex of branch or at the apex of stem there is a bud called apical bud or terminal bud you can see this is the apical bud or it is also known as a terminal bud because of presence of this apical bud or terminal bud the stem it continues to grow and another type of buds are called axillary buds what is axil you look at this this is the stem and from the node a leaf has developed the angle which is formed between the main stem and a leaf is known as what axil okay the bud which is present in the axil is known as axillary bud this axillary bud it may develop into a leaf it may develop into a leaf it may develop into a branch or it may develop into a inflorescence which is the natural cluster of flowers then what are flowers as i said the flowers are the reproductive structure of the plant later in this chapter we'll be learning in detail about uh, the structure of uh, flowers okay and fruit after pollination and fertilization the ovary will develop into uh, uh, the ovary will develop into fruit which consists of uh, seeds and from this slide dear students you need to practice the diagram of uh, the flowering plants okay uh, draw the question can be asked like this draw neat labeled diagram of uh, a flowering plant or draw neat labeled diagram of uh, a typical dicotyledonous plants okay so this diagram can be asked for 3 mark so you need to practice the diagram okay in the next slide we'll be discussing in detail about the root system types of roots and root modification thank you